Oh no. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to the Go For Evolve Sunday Cup. This is number 41, 42, I think it's 42. And we're going in now. We have ourselves an excellent game casting with me, of course, is going to be our buddy Grizzle Marine, who's going to be bringing us some love. And right, well, that's actually a really nice camera right here. What the hell? What the hell? I've never seen that before. That's... Oh, we can see the that's... cupcake! We can see the cupcake! Oh, the cupcake! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Woo! And I'd say, again, this is exactly what I was just talking about. I'm really amazed again to see Parnell being used up against Kraken because, I mean, I'm, I'm, ready to, I'm ready to see how it plays out. But I've always been that one guy who, I'm a fan of Parnell against every other monster. But the one thing I would never personally pick him against is Kraken. So I'm actually really looking forward to seeing how they actually bring it into this fight. Yeah, and just to go over the skill builds quick, we are looking at a Mana War crack and going Lightning Banshee yeah, Vortex. It's pretty standard for them not to go Aftershock. All that's kind of normal jazz. Uh, Perk-wise, we see damage output, which is something we've been seeing a lot more with Kraken specifically, which is specifically because of the Jesus pick, a.k.a. Hank. Uh, he wants to make sure to burst through those shields, and he wants to be able to do that as quick as possible. Other than that, everything else looks pretty much standard. And again, I can't read anyone's name, so this is going to be fantastic. Oh, wow. He's heading through. Okay, we'll fix so he's up. We'll up. work on that after the game. Yeah, no worries. So, um, I'm just going to have to say everyone by... Va I'm just going to call everyone by their hunter and monster name then. I'm not going to be able to actually say the player names. Actually, I know Frankenstein's on the monster, so... At least I know that, anyway. He's getting, okay, he's getting a good feed on here, so um, hopefully... Should be ready to stage up before... Oh, no, okay, they're already in. Fantastic. So yeah, we're going in right now. We have a little bit of poking going back and forth. They're trying to see what they can pick up or what they can try and snag at this point. We got some eating, trying to fill up that evolve meter. He'll be full evolve meter at this point. So if he gets domed, he's in a decent position that he can actually survive through it and get some damage. He has full armor, full evolve meter. So this is the ideal situation for Frankenstein. He'll be able to get himself ready. He's going in for the stealth pounce. He's trying to see what he can pick up. Cerberus is going in for the tranks. And Tentuki's in the rear just trying to get him flushed out, which is right now they're pushing him right towards LV, and she's right ready in position to get this dome ready. So, especially with move speed, it does help as well. Oh, yeah, definitely. Seeing. I'm definitely going to have to sort this out towards the end, because, yeah, at the moment, I didn't realize how. I mean, it looks better before, but now it's really pixelated for me, which is a bit frustrating, to be honest. Um. But I, I, I can I can sort of tell what about just about what's going on. Should be good. So we got some eating going on. Full of all me. I think oh. he's just topping up his uh, food right now. I think he's just yeah, staying okay. stealth, maybe. Oh, it, 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 it ain't looking so stealth in that bush. Yeah. Oh, it's not a good hiding spot, Frankenstein. You gotta get going. <laughs> yeah, he say, just yeah, kind of realized. Big, big blue kraken in a green bush. <laughs> uh, I, guess, I, think it's, I don't think it's gonna. Uh... Okay, don't first time comes down. Oh, we got one of the hunters um, pounce. Is he part of some wildlife at the moment? What's happening? I think we have. Our... Oh, he's on the outside. Uh, Cerberu. Yeah, he just got broke out. Oh dear. Cerberu was in a plant and he got freed out by Jesus. So Jesus, being the savior that he is, decided to rescue his teammate, kept him out of the bush. So that'll be good. Uh, Man of War Kraken is now hiding behind a pillar, keeping himself protected. We got Orbal being thrown in, going to try and get some flush out of that, but not quite able to. Mammoth Bird's actually helping out with a little bit of a shock there. We got LV on the high ground shooting up with that SMG. Uh, Cerberu and Jesus are on the opposite side as Parnell's trying to flush him out, aka Tentuki. So we'll have to see Stealth Pounce on Cerberu. Not much going on here, though. Just uh, this is a mitigation fight at this just point. Just a mitigation, yeah, definitely. Uh, probably just going to try and hold him back. I mean, he's doing, I mean, he's doing a decent job he has. Just got through the armor, so Hunter's probably gonna try and take a decent amount of damage on this Kraken right now. Uh, Parnell is doing a not too bad job, but uh, you know, it, it'd probably be lucky to be able to get a couple of bars down on him, hopefully. And yeah, it's just a, just a mitigation fight at this point, so it comes down to just how much Frankenstein's able to stay away from Tentuki. And Tentuki was doing a great job staying in pursuit and making sure that he was constantly dealing damage. Cerberu going to be topping everyone off at this point, so they're going to be ready to fight already. But Frankenstein's going to be on the run and wants to get to his stage two. I think he'll probably go into the like into the uh, typical evolve cave like up here in this corner. Yeah, yeah, I've noticed a lot of the monsters have been taking that route, definitely, and uh, also all going in there. I remember also watching a Behemoth gameplay, and Behemoth just absolutely held down that cave when they got a dome. Actually, some really sort of funny misses have come from Kraken Evolve, or any monster evolving here. So, um, but the dome shouldn't be ready now, so obviously a good time to be able to evolve up, always evolve up straight after that dome. So, the dome's still on cooldown, and then you have plenty of time to get your armor back up and then go back into the fight. 
So Skin could have down to LV's positioning, and it looks like LV was in the exact right position to make sure that she was there for it. And they were able to get the vision, but we're going right in. Here comes the, the aftershock getting down. hooked. Oh, the poon by LV keeping him right off. Very well done by that lady. A lady savior right there. LV going to be protecting Subaru and Jesus from that aftershock, making sure he wasn't able to land it. Lightning strikes being thrown backwards, doesn't connect, and there's the LV. LV with a nice dome right there. So if going, in. Going, going in right now. Hopefully, we get a couple of penalties down. We'll have to see. All going in. Misses the aftershock. He's going in now. Uh, he's getting, oh, and he does get the drop. Orbital is dropped. Kraken getting out of the way, hopefully. And uh, they're probably going to do their best to make sure that they can get Jesus back up. As I say, Jesus. But it's a man of war crack. Needs to be raining hellfire from the sky, smiting them from the heavens. Going to be looking to keep Jesus from getting resurrected. This is the battle of Zeus versus Jesus at this point. Battle of religions. Everyone's just trying to keep him down. He's keeping in a rocket. Rock him right away. Gets knocked away. Tintuki's on that body, but he gets pushed away. Here comes the aftershock for the finish. Tintuki has to actually blow his personal as Jesus is now put down. But there are only three bars left. Zeus might get smite, a.k.a. Frankenstein, trying to keep himself up. Here comes the lightning being thrown down. Doesn't connect on Cerberus or Tantuki. Trying to get what they can. Uh, Tantuki's dealing damage. They're down to two bars of health. This Frankenstein needs to run. Frankenstein's monster is being slain at this point. He needs to get some space. Now, at this point, you've got to wonder what's he going to do now. Is he going to go straight for the stage? Because he's quite far away from it. And, you know, it's probably very unlikely he's going to be able to get that stage before they get him in another dome. He's going to definitely need to make sure he's armored up and ready for another fight. He's going to have to be very careful at this point, uh, especially with that. Uh, the key notes is like as much as like defensively they're not going to be as strong. He has no off like offensive potential at this point for Frankenstein. Like he's right now completely locked down. He can't do much. He can't drill into them because they do have dome available. Well, not available, but they have it as an option for them because LV is still alive, Cerberus is still alive, so they still have their medic, and they still have Tentuki for their damage. As much as Jesus is gone, it's not really that critical of a loss. It's a big loss, but if he's able to build up mm -hmm. his armor and whatnot, it's not necessarily an ideal position it's considering not, Tentuki. Definitely. I mean, if he gets the evolve but gets that health back, uh, I mean, I would say that definitely a down penalty on either the medic or support in any situation is always a decent, definitely a good one, but... You know, at the moment, he definitely needs to get back, make sure that he's, you know, ready for the next fight. But he's going to be going right in right now when uh, the Parnell taking him on. He needs to be getting something for this. He needs to get a quick down, and he needs something a nice, a quick, and easy. It's probably easiest to go after LV at this point, but it doesn't definitely. look like he's going to be able to get it. Dome's off cooldown, so LV's going to be ready to throw it in just a moment. Here it comes. Actually oh. throws it, so Monster's now captured, and now he's in a position where he's not necessarily going to be having a good time. This is not definitely what he wants, but he has to go in. He needs to commit to this. Drops down on Cerberus. Cerberus is oh, going to be right the target. Down. Heel burst coming in. Harpoon coming in the rear from LV. Everything's going to be trying to keep him up. Banshee Bites tossed on Cerberus, but Tentuki's on point with the damage. Going for the finish. Oh. Doesn't quite connect. Cerberus oh, dodges it last second. Beautiful. Oh, and he does go down. Oh, wow. He's going to move in. He wants to definitely take advantage. Oh, and Hunt. I didn't even pay attention to the health bar. Well, that, that just shows how amazing I am. Fantastic. But Frankenstein now getting okay. slain by Tentuki, dealing all that damage right in his backside, making sure that he's not able to get anything out of it. Constant depletion of the health bar. We can look at it here. We see just it sharp dives. Everything's just slowly dipping down. And Jesus got a little rest, got a little R and R that match though. Mm. Just got flatlined. All right, I'm gonna go sit in the dropship, relax, put my feet up. <laughs> but but yeah, that's nonetheless, the team managed to finish it off. So that's all the that matters. So, so far, guys, that's the end of match one. That does mean that it is currently a 1-0 lead in favor of Jemmy Salmon Saucy Song as we're going into match two. And, sorry, I was actually wrong about the skin. It is Neptune, not Man of War. My bad. Man of War is pink. I don't know why I was thinking. It's like a pink purpley color. But it is the Neptune skin, which is for winning the Battlefly Community Cups. So, if you want to get that skin, you want to try and get that, make sure to sign up for it. It does happen next Saturday, and you can go in, and I believe there are going to be casters that, for that match, and we'll be able to bring that forward to you. But, in the meantime, guys, this is where we do a quick fading fit out for the sake of editing, making sure the YouTube videos are nice and short for you guys. So if you're in the VOD playlist, make sure to go to the next one. And if you're in the VODs and you're checking out things, we'll be, be sure to put a link in the description to one of our channels, whichever one this is uploaded to. So, yeah, have a good time, guys, and we'll be back with more content. If you're watching live, stay tuned. Bye.